the previous owner of this mobile home park on Flint's north side, Shady Acres, is now part of a criminal investigation. John McNew lives here with his family. He says he's now heating his home with an outdoor grill. He says he has no more money left after paying the previous owner rent. This is not right now. I'm, I'm breaking up pallets to get wood so I can burn a grill in my living room. John McNew says he paid rent to Tormenta Properties LLC. According to McNew and Tormenta, that money was also to cover utilities. He don't care. According to records with the city of Flint obtained by NBC 25, Tormenta Properties has more than $120,000 of outstanding water and sewer bills. I spoke with Steve Ramirez of Tormenta Properties over the phone. He wouldn't go on camera, but tells me over the past year, the Shady Acres and Kirkwood Mobile Home Parks stopped turning a profit. He says he was forced into foreclosure this month. Well, we came here the day before and asked me for some more money. In West Michigan, Emmett Township officials are conducting a criminal investigation into Ramirez and Tormenta properties after having issues with parks there. The Genesee County Land Bank is now trying to help those who live in these parks find new places to live and make sure they understand their rights. If anybody's trying to collect money from them, that they're doing it illegally. I'm living hard right now. I got $35 in my pocket. I'm going to spend 30 of it on a motel. I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. Right now, the city of Flint is trying to figure out if they can hold the previous owner responsible for the $120,000 in unpaid water and sewer bills. Reporting live in Flint, Stephanie Parkinson, NBC 25. It goes back a ways though. Uh, careful on this though. Seems kind of sturdy. Yeah. Wow, this one was very big. True crackhead, bitch. Oh, I thought I was. Yeah, so the back sort of got cleared out, looks like, or slash demolished. Yeah, I think I just saw a kitty running. Yeah, it's cleared out. has been abandoned since 2015 and as you can see shady acres has really become a hotbed for illegal dumping just take a look at this pile of trash here you can see a mattress a couch we even have rubber tires those are you can't even barely tell but they are um, stuffed animals this house is just full children's toys that's like um, Rex from T Toy Story the floor is very bad in here oh my gosh there's a Rugrats spike I honestly don't know if I can go in though this is sinking Full 
of junk. Yeah, this smells like a fresh fire was right here. You can smell it, so this was definitely recent. Yeah. Ooh, this one's floor is bad. Some jars and stuff left behind. This one had like a, a sauna or something on it. Here they built out on top of the rest of their place. The entire mobile home park will be demolished and all foundations, concrete, and debris will be removed. The estimated demolition is about $378,000 and funding is from the City Community Development Block Grant uh, funds as well as the Genesee County Treasurer Fund. Annette Reynolds has been trying to get something done about this mess. Shady Acres, an abandoned mobile home park in the Rollingwood neighborhood in Flint. But I've always said it might not ever look like it used to years and years ago, but it doesn't have to look like it is now. I think this is a step in the right direction. I think that we have to take a lot more steps to get where we want to be. However, this is definitely moving forward. I'm sure the residents of Rollingwood are going to be just as happy when they drive by there and they see it's all cleaned up. In Flint, Rachel McCrary, WNEM TV5.